Good morning, it's Jonathan Bauer with the Morning Debrief for Wednesday the 14th of April. Um, should be a little bit uh, quick this morning because we've got a lot on. Um, interesting move last night, let's just quickly go into it, uh, the closes. Uh, some mixed reports but uh, reportings for so far seem to be okay. Uh, Intel certainly came out with a good report. A very big movement in crude oil all the way down then all the way back up again. And uh, gold still under pressure but we took some profits there. Uh, let's have a, just a quick run through. And so we've got it all there. Okay, uh, just quickly, as we said, uh, look at across at America, and um, you can see the Dow was only up 13 points at 11, 0, 11,019. Uh, the uh, S&P was up 82, uh, 0.82, the Nasdaq was up uh, 8, uh, so quite positive there. Uh, looking over onto Europe, uh, the Stoke was down 13, um, the FTSE was down 15, the DAX down 19, and the CAC down 18. So uh, a little bit weaker in Europe, however, obviously in America it held up. And uh, most of the major news there we saw was Intel sales forecasts, top estimates. So that's pretty positive. Um, and small advance there, even though our co shares we thought were better than expected, uh, but uh, obviously came in just a little bit, little bit uh, negative. Um, major news last night, I guess, in terms of economic stuff. The most important thing, trade deficit in the US widens more than anticipated. And that's similar to what we're seeing in China. But in China, we've got... Um, 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 the potential for growth there at about 11.7% this year. And uh, we do have inflation there. So two slightly different things, but we are seeing a massive amount of imports and uh, we're working out whether that's more infrastructure work um, or whether it's, uh, it's the general economy uh, working its magic. Anyway, let's see what happens from there. Um, let's just have a look at the general markets. And as you can see here, the most important things, uh, if we just take a view back there, and have a look at sort of the dollar index. Dollar index 80.56, still within its ranges. Um, as you can see, it does look a little bit weak here, and it did move up last night. But uh, let's see whether or not we actually complete the filling of that gap in at the moment. When I look at the hourly charts here, I can see that it is a little bit mixed, and you can see it's a bit mixed as well. Um, so there's not no clear definition. But I think that at the moment we are in a range. The lower end is 80.25, and the top end obviously is 82. This gap to here at 81 might be nice to actually fill in. Okay, now how did that affect the Aussie? Aussie 92.85, uh, just looking at it on the overnight. Um, could be potential head and shoulders here. Keep close to this. Um, no clear definition as to which way it will go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I think a resistance is at 93.20.30. If going long US dollars, stop must be above that. That's about 94.20. Euro, we've been busting our guts to try and get in the euro and um, it's still consolidating nicely. Uh, let's see how it trades over the next couple of days uh, because that is quite positive and I uh, would like to see um, that euro trade higher, but um, I'd like to see this gap build in just a little bit more. Having a look at the uh, now the local SPY, um, closed on Psycom a little bit higher, which was good. I think expectations are that it opens higher. Uh, let's just see, and let's see where it trades around this 5,000 level. Uh, quite interesting. We took a small short yesterday not 100% convinced on, on what to do with that, uh, but we're, we're happily uh, run with it. Okay, um, that's that. Uh, that's the SPY. Now, just having a look at um, gold. Uh, gold in itself, uh, quite busy. And um, as I mentioned last night, we took gold. This move here was caused by the crude oil market. Um, we think that gold's still correcting, going through a corrective phase. But just have a look at the crude oil market. That was incredible. Uh, we had a low there, uh, a low all the way down near that 82.52, and then a high up around that 84.40. So very volatile, and that was on the back of some API data, and uh, very volatile indeed. So I think that puts a, a firm, a low and a high in place for crude, um, and I think dips back to 83.40 can be looked at. Okay, let's have a quick look at uh, the economic calendar. Um, most important, we've got uh, ABC Consumer Confidence. Bernanke has a bit of a word to have an import prices and trade balances. Um, so let's revise that. Um, it's Wednesday. We've got Westpac Consumer Confidence in Australia. We've got MBA Mortgage Application, CPI in the States, Advanced Retail Sales, um, Bernanke speaking in Business Infantry. So it's going to be a very, very busy night. Uh, very, very busy night uh, in the States tonight. So you've got to be careful. Keep on your toes, obviously, with that CPI data out. Let's see if there are any signs of inflation and the news that the Fed has talked about is, in fact, good positive news. Um, so uh, in a nutshell, where are we? We're, we've closed our positions in gold. Um, we're looking for a US dollar position. Uh, we are long corn and wheat and soybeans. That's something we're focused on at the moment, and uh, we think that looks all right. But uh, anyway, that's about it from me today. I hope you have a good day, and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Have a good day.